Hello, good afternoon, Ten Copernicus. Okay, this is uh, Mom Tresha, and welcome to the third quarter of our T TLE Ten Cookery. Right. So before we start, let us hear a prayer to be led by uh, Miss Ronaline Nono. Let's pray. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Maraming maraming salamat po sa araw na to, Lord, na binigyan niyo po kami ng oras na mag-aral nga po, mag po sa TLE subject, Lord. We bus knowledge and wisdom, Lord, sa mga pag-aaralan. Gayun din po kay Ma'am Tisha Panso na magsasagawa po ng demo niya, Lord. Uh, Tinataas po namin sa inyo. In the name, Amen. Alright, so Ronaline, thank you for that very uplifting prayer. So for our attendance, guys, so uh, again, for our attendance, kindly type your name, okay, your full name in our chat box, and then the time you enter the Google Meet platform, okay? So later on, I will review that, okay, uh, and that will serve as your attendance, right? So don't forget, because you all know that our attendance is graded. Right. So, before we start, okay, our discussion, let us first know again, class, the rules that we need to follow, right? So, number one, again, you should maintain respect in both speaking, chatting, and appearance. So, I can see right now that all of you are wearing your uniform. That is very good. Okay, you are very presentable, guys. And, of course, kapag tayo ay, uh, we want to say something, always... Uh, Always observe utmost respect, okay, for everybody. Not just uh, for Mom Trish, but for everybody. And then, stay on mute. Please click the raise hand button to contribute. So, I ask you to open your camera, but then, okay, um, stay on mute unless I call your name or if you want to say something, just click the raise button. Is that clear, everybody? Can I see thumbs up? Kung clear tayo, mga anak, ayan, ng thumbs up nila. So, I guess, okay, let's start this one. Okay, let's have first a lesson recap. Okay, uh, last quarter, we talked about vegetables, right? So, what uh, do you remember, okay, in our uh, lessons or discussion, okay, uh, during the second quarter? Can I ask from Sato? Yes, ma'am. Yes, na. Um, we, uh, I believe, according to what I still remember about the second quarter on vegetables is how to properly handle them, what is the different characteristics of it, and how we they were stored, like such as being canned, being salted, and also how to preserve them properly. And also, we studied all about how to properly clean and sanitize our area to also prevent uh, the vegetables being spoiled or any other dishes that could also be um, contaminated. Yeah. All right, very good. Tama, di ba? So, last time, okay, our last grading, we talk about different ways on handling vegetable proper, properly for us to prevent what? Food contamination, di ba? Kasi we know that food contamination can lead to food poisoning, right? So, thank you guys for your answer. So, let's, let us proceed now. Okay, so uh, before we uh, further continue, I would like to uh, share to you guys what are the objectives or the goals of, or the learning goals that uh, we want to achieve today. So today we'll be able to, number one, classify the composition of meat and familiarize the different meat sources. I, and then number two, uh, we will appreciate the relevance of meat in the economy of local government, especially there. In Rodriguez Rizal. Ito sinabi mong Trish there kasi nasa QC po si mong Trish. Okay. And then number three, we will think and create an action plan to prevent animal disease like African swine flu. Do you remember the ESF? So later on, itatakal natin ulit yan lahat. So today, that will be our goal, okay, to be achieved. Test, pre test muna tayo. Syempre, this is not recorded. Again, this is just a pre test para lang ma assess kung ano na yung alam natin. So, we will play Can You Guess It? So, uh, if you have paper there or on your phone, okay, just write your answer. And then later on, we will see kung ilan yung ating magiging scores. Are you ready, kids? Are you ready? Okay, so can you guess it? Question number one. 
Okay. It refers to animal flesh that is eaten as a food. Is it meat or meat? Is it meat or meat? It refers to animal flesh that is eaten as a food. Done? Okay, let's see if your answer is correct. So the answer is meat. Okay, so again, the part of the animal that is eaten as a food, we call that meat. That is the third, right? Number two, classification of meat that turns dark when cooked. Is it white meat or the red meat? Tignan natin. All right, so the correct answer here is, okay, red meat, like beef. Madalas lang naman natin kinakain sa red meat is yung beef talaga. Next, number three, meat contains blank percent of water. Meat contains blank percent of water. Is it 75% or 25%? All right, so let's see what is the correct answer here. So, the correct answer here is 75%. So, meat contains 75% of what? Okay, for number four, the change in the structure of protein when heated and the heat caused the muscle fibers to lose water. Okay, first option is coagulation. Second option is Meyer reaction. What do you think is the answer? All right, so let's see. So that process is what we call coagulation. Okay, coagulation, it is the process where the protein, uh, shrink, okay, yung protein, okay, that's why I, uh, naglulus ng water, okay, yung meat, naglulus siya ng water content. So later on, mapag-aaralan pa natin yan. Right, so number five, last one. It is the main reaction between amino acids and sugar developing flavor of meat. Of course, the number four is coagulation. So number five, obviously, the answer is what? Di ba nagpapatawa lang talaga si Ma'am Trisha? The answer is Meyer reaction. Okay, so Meyer reaction, madalas nyo itong nakikita when you are cooking. Or kapag, for example, meron ka dyang apple, tapos pinabayaan mo lang siya dyan, naka-open, naka-cut na yung apple, what happens? Pag yung apple ay pinabayaan lang natin siya na nakakat na, tas nahanginan, anong nagiging result ng color? Anyone? Anyone who wants to answer? Anong nagiging result, result ng color? Yes? Uh, si Jenelton, nagre-raise ng hand. Ay, ma'am, try ko po. Um, nagigi... Yes, sige na. Kapag yung mansanas po, apple po na, kapag napabayaan po natin na hiwa na po siya, tas nahanginan na po, Parang nagiging kulay brown po siya, parang ganun. Alright, very good. So, nagkakaroon siya ng browning effect. Diba? Yun yung tinatawag nating mayor reaction. And mayor reaction, hindi lang nangyayari doon. When we cook, there is a change in color. Okay, yun yung tinatawag nating mayor reaction na i-explain pa natin further as we go on the lesson. Alright, so, now, kamusta naman ang mga scores natin? Yan, tignan natin, no? So, meron ba dyang naka-number, naka-five? Pre-test pa lang to, ah. May naka-five ba? May na, naka-five ba dyan? Raise ng hand ka kung naka-five? Wala. Ay, si Elliptico, very good. May naka-four ba dyan? Si Elliptico, siya ay, ikaw na, the best ka. Siya yung naka-number five. Kasi pre-test pa lang ito, eh. How about four? May mga naka-four ba? Wala. How about, ayan, si... Alzer, naka-four siya. So, Alzer, ginalingan mo, bongga. ba? Diba? May mga naka-three ba dyan? Naka-three. Naka-three. Ayan, si Berdilio, si Lumuntad. Okay, and the rest of you guys. So, angas ng batang to. Talaga to si Berdilio, tsaka si Lumuntad. Dumaangas talaga to mga batang to. Eh. So, okay. Para naman sa mga naka-one and two. Tara mga be, aral tayo. So, please listen carefully for us to know more about, okay, this topic. So, ayan. So, important terms to remember, okay, as we go on. Ito yung mga ma-encounter natin. So, number one is flesh. So, we say flesh. Can you read what is flesh? Elaine, can you please read? Flesh. Flesh is the soft tissue of the body, especially muscle and fat. Ayan. Flesh yun yung mga laman. 
fat, okay? Muscle. Okay? So, thank you, Elaine. Okay, next. So, guys, gugutumin ko kayo ngayon. Have you ever dined in sa isang fast food restaurant and ordered a, bur- a burger? Di ba favorite natin yung sa McDo? Or try binging in sanggyupsal with friends? Sino naman nakapagsanggyupsal dyan, di ba? Pag tayo ay uh, pupunta sa mga uh, restaurant sa labas, di ba? Nagaganyan tayo. Especially nung wala pang pandemic. But be, but because now, may nasa pandemic tayo, iwas-iwas muna tayo sa mga pagka, pagkakain sa labas, right? Pero noon, di ba, what we like to do talaga, especially when we are with our families, nag-gathering, di ba, pupunta tayo sa mga restaurants, pupunta tayo sa mga mall, di ba, kumakain tayo niyan. At pag nakita And once we go sa mall or sa mga public places, di ba, madalas, ito yung mga available na food eh, di ba? Or, now, I have a question, guys. Do you agree with this? Filipinos are very fond of eating meat. Do you agree with that? Ang mga Pinoy daw ay mahilig kumain ng karne, especially ang karne ng baboy o pork. Naniniwala ba kayo doon? Can I hear a reaction from Al? Andiyan ba si Al? Al Rombos is Koto? Hey po. Ayan, si Al. Do you think Al, uh, naniniwala ka ba ng Pilipino ay mahi... Filipinos are fond of eating uh, pork? Do you believe? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what do you think is the reason? Why? Kasi, kasi ma'am pa, once po na naging malambot na po yung ano karne ng baboy. Ano po, ang sarap na po niya kainin para na lang po siyang bubblegum na pag ninunguyan niyo po. Ano po. Kaya, tapos minsan din po, pag hinaluan din po ng mga ano po, condiments, katulad po ng mga ganun. Lalo po sumasarap. Ayan, di ba? Nakakagutong yung explanation ni Al, di ba? Nakapag, ang, ang karne daw ay chewy na, parang bubblegum, ang sarap kainin. Especially kapag nag a ng mga condiments. Yan, favorite na, favorite yan ng mga Pilipino. Ano pa yung reason behind na mahilig tayong kumain ng uh, meat, especially yung pork? Meron pa bang ibang reason? Sige, in your personal ano, personal uh, opinion, ano yung sa tingin mo? Ikaw, meron bang vegetarian dito? Excuse me, pag may vegetarian ha, kasi all about meat yung ano yung topic eh. Okay? So, ayan, si ano, si Chris Jen. Andiyan ba si Chris? Ay, ito si Mika. Oh, yes. Ay, siya ng kamay. Ay, sige si Chris. Go, Chris. Yes po, ma'am. Feeling ko po kasi kasama na rin po siya sa kultura natin. Marami po sa mga dishes po natin dito sa Pilipinas. Karamihan po talaga yung main is yung pork. Ayan. Very good, anak. Very good, Chris. That is because of our culture. Way back sa history, noon pa man, di ba, hindi pa man tayo nadidiscover ni Magellan. Diba? Ang mga Pilipino ay kumakain na talaga ng karne. Kasama na sa kulturang Pilipino ang pagkain ng karne, especially ang pagkain ng karne ng baboy. That's why we are very fond of eating. Diba? Ano ang present lagi sa mga handaan? Lalo na kapag ikaw ay may, ano, medyo ano ka, yayamanin ka. Diba? Nandyan ang lechon. Laging nasa table yan. Kung medyo nakakaangat-angat sa buhay. ba? Diba? Okay, pag hindi naman masyado, syempre, yan yung mga barbecue, Lumpiang Shanghai. Di ba yun ang target nyo kapag may birthday? Una nyo tinitignan eh, Lumpiang Shanghai, di ba? So, lagi na yun kasama, nakadikit na yun sa atin, sa, uh, in our identity as a Filipino. Okay? So, to move on, yan, ipapasyal kayo ni Ma'am Trish sa Rodriguez Resolve Public Market. Namimiss nyo na ba? Di ba hindi kayo nakakalabas? Ayan. Have you been here before? Diba, pag namamalengke kayo ng inyong mga, kasama ang inyong mga parents, ayan, so pupunta tayo dyan. So, dito sa ating uh, public market, sa so Rizal, or Montalban, yun yung isa sa pinakamalaking market. So, ito yung meat section. Ayan, no, yung meat section. No? So, makikita natin dyan, we can see there that there are different types of meat available. Okay? Available sa ating local market. So, tignan natin kung ano yung mga yon. Alright. So, but before that, let us first know the definition of meat. When we say meat, it refers to animal flesh that is eaten as a food. Diba? We talk about flesh kanina. So, that is meat. 
any part of the animal that can be eaten as food. Okay? And of course, siyempre, acceptable siya. Acceptable siya sa culture, acceptable siya sa atin bilang tao, or sa principle natin bilang human. Okay? Kasi iba-iba yan per region, di ba? Iba-iba yan per race. Okay? But then again, meat is the animal flesh that is eaten as a food. Tandaan natin yan. Alright, to continue, the animal commonly raised for meat worldwide, ito guys, buong sa buong mundo, ito talaga yung pinaka main sources of meat. So we have cattle for beef, okay, we have sheep, pig, and a poultry, okay? Yung poultry yun may mga ibon yan, yung mga, ano, mga birds yan, no? So pinaka, uh, pinaka sikat doon, of course, yung fried chicken, ginagawang fried chicken, which is the chicken, di ba? Sarap-sarap ng chicken joy sa Jollibee. Alright, so... Meron na ba nakakain dito ng sheep? Eh, hindi ko pa kasi siya na-try. But then, sheep is one of the ano, largest uh, uh, sources of meat okay, worldwide. Okay. But here in the Philippines, guys, okay, the main, uh, uh, main uh, meat na kinoconsume natin is pork. Yun yung pinakamataas yung percent. Okay, yung pork. And then followed by the chicken and then the beef and then yung meat ng goat. Ma'am, nakakain pa lang meat ng goat? Yes, yeah, siguro may mga nakatikim na sa inyo. Okay, isa rin siya sa widely ano, uh, kinakain dito sa Pilipinas. Other mammalian species are also used as food in various parts of the world according to culture and availability. Yan, di ba sinabi kanina ni Ma'am Trish? Different culture, different races, okay, meron silang kinakain or meron silang meat. Para sa atin, hindi siya katanggap-tanggap pero dito sa race na to, Okay yun sa kanila. What is the best example for that? If you are, ano, di ba mahilig kayong manood ng mga balita, social media? Sa China, ano yung kinakain nilang meat na ayaw na ayaw natin as Filipinos? Yung hindi natin tanggap sa culture natin. May isa sila dong festival. Yung sa si Elaine. Yes, Elaine. Yung kumakain po sila ng aso. Ayan, yung kumakain sila ng dog. Okay, sa atin kasi sa culture natin, hindi siya katanggap-tanggap. Because uh, dog is ano pet, di ba? Pet she, man's best friend yun para sa atin. That's why we cannot accept that ano that way. But then again, based on their culture, sa culture nila, that is acceptable. Again, it depends upon the culture, the race, and the availability of the meat, di ba? Survival din yan minsan, pag nasa wild, pag nanonood tayo, di ba, sa Netflix na mga movies na ano na nasa wild sila, wala silang choice but to eat what is available, di ba? So again, okay, uh, meat is ano, varied from culture, okay, and then the availability. We should remember that. Okay, do you know guys that Now, right now, in San Jose, okay, meron isang uh, program si uh, ating uh, kapitan, uh, Cap Glenn, okay, it is the rabbit farming. Actually, you have one classmate that, ano, that they sell rabbit meat, okay, uh, it is an alternative source, okay, ng meat sa Pilipinas. Hindi ko pa din siya na-try, but then kasi rabbit for me is very, ano, yung, ang cute nila, parang hindi ko kayang kainin, kayo ba kaya nyo? Diba? But then, it is ano na, it is a booming industry. Okay? And of course, kapag may mga bagong na-introduce na ganyan, diba, mas nakakadagdag siya sa economy natin. Alright? So, ayan, if you want to try, okay, PM is the key, hindi ako ha, yung isang classmate nyo, kasi nakita ko lang sa post niya. Alright? So, yan, let us support our local meat, okay? Local product. Okay, so, to continue, Okay, meat has been considered a high-value food. Di ba we talk about egg as the uh, main source of protein talaga, pinaka-total food pagdating sa ano, protein, yung egg, okay? But meat also, ano, uh, may lalaban siya, okay, kay egg when it comes to protein content, okay? That's why meat is belong, is belong to the uh, food uh, group, which is yung grow foods, right? Di ba meron tayong tatlo? We have go, grow, glow, kinder, kinder. Okay, kinder, kinder na information. Ano yung go foods? Go foods are foods that si Al, may sinasabi si Al. Al, ano yung go foods? Al, alam mo ba Al? 
'Di ba? Gumagawa kayo ng mga color coloring ng preschool kayo, 'di ba? Go foods are foods that give us what? Energy for the day. They are rich in carbohydrates. Grow food, these are the foods that uh, helps our body to of course grow, to build our body. So si meat kasama siya sa grow foods, okay? Paano niya tayo na paano niya napapalakas or napapaganda yung ating katawan? Paano na build It is because of the protein content of the meat and of course the other nutrients, okay? Nutrition studies indeed show that meats are high grade protein source. Okay, sa pa mga nagpapalaki din ng katawan that need uh, they, that they need meat, okay, uh, or a high protein source, meat ang kainin natin. All right? So to continue, do you know guys that in uh, Rodriguez Rizal, okay, maraming meat, uh, maraming uh, hog uh, or swine farm. Meron ba kayong alam? Meron bang alam? Meron bang nakakita malapit sa inyo? Okay, uh, more uh, mas marami sa ano sa San Isidro Port. Okay, this one is nakita ko siya sa Facebook. Okay, ito yung uh, MA Forest Wine Farm na na located ito sa Makabud. Ay, sa Makabud sa Sitio Gulod. Okay? So, yan yung mga farm. There are different farms ng uh, ng na nagpo-produce ng hog. Okay, ng, ng mga pigs, goats, okay, uh, and other uh, meat products dyan sa Rodriguez Rizal. Because, guys, uh, Rodriguez Rizal is one of the, ano talaga, is one of the contributor or yung producer ng meat sa mga neighboring cities like uh, Quezon City, Makati, okay, yun yung mga nag, ano, nag, produce, okay, galing sa Rizal. Even us, because our business is Uh, nagkakatay kami ng pig, okay, or ng hog. Business talaga namin yun since I was a kid. So, dyan yung source namin. Dyan talaga kami sa Rizal kumukuha ng mga uh, kakatayong baboy. Tapos ibebenta siya. Right? So, but then guys, do you remember this? Sin, uh, this, uh, uh, pino, uh, pin, hindi naman siya ano, uh, naaalala nyo ba to noong 2019? Kasi COVID na lang siguro yung naalala natin eh. Yung African Swine Fever, Do you recall that? Yung African swine fever na bigla na lang, ah, wala, hindi tayo pwedeng kumain ng baboy. Kasi dahil dyan sa African, Africa, ah, Africa, ah, African swine fever na yan, di ba? So, ano nga ba yung African swine fever? Okay, di naman po sa pagmamalaki, nag-originate po siya, or ay, hindi siya nag-originate. Nagsimula yung uh, uh, disease ng pig na ito or ng hog na ito sa Montalban. Ayan, nagsimula po siya sa Montalban. Okay, the out outbreak of ASF was first officially reported by the Department of Agriculture in September 2019. It first occurred in Rodriguez Rizal. Okay, because sa Rodriguez Rizal kasi mainly ng ano, before ang pinapakain sa mga hog nila o kayo mga ibang producer ng meat or ng Uh, ng ng pig is yung tinatawag nating ano yung mga leftovers alam niyo na yun di ba yung mga leftovers natin may mga kumukuha tapos niluluto nila yung ipapakain sa pig that is the reason why nagkaroon ng uh, outbreak ng uh, ASF diyan diyan nagsimula sa Rodriguez Rizal okay kasi yung mga nako na leftover is ano siya contaminated of bacteria tapos nakain ng pig okay and then naka sa kanila yon So, what is the, sa tingin nyo guys, okay, ano ba yung nangyari, okay, nung ASF, paano ito naka sa economy or how it uh, affected the economy and of course the personal lives ng uh, mga tao dyan? Sa inyo, personally, kung naalala nyo yung ASF, sa tingin nyo, paano siya naka -apekto? Okay, may I hear from anyone who wants to volunteer? Si Sato. Yes, dear. Um, as one of the old connoisseurs of eating meat or pork mom, because I am, sometimes I always eat pork mom before this pandemic hits us. Okay. Um, personally, the African swine fever, or probably we're going to speak all about it af in any aspects. Economically speaking, everyone literally suffered because um, 
Pork is mainly one of our greatest imports and exports probably worldwide and within the country. And it generally affected the entire country because one, Metro Manila is still currently under the shortage or scarcity of the supply of pork. And this caused the prices and the industry to literally collapse between 2020 and 2021 and it's still been going on. And it is also the result of why many and many those who sell pork before have already retreated back to other industries because the prices had generally pressured them to literally just drop the business and start another one. And personally speaking, many people have tried or persuaded themselves to not eat pork, instead have alternates such as chicken, rabbit meat, because pork right now is like the same price as a gold bar, ranging from 300 to 500 pesos. This is why it generally nearly destroyed the pork industry economy-wise within the Philippines, po, ma'am. All right. So, very good, di ba? Amazing. Amazing talaga yung uh, thoughts ni, ano, ni Sato. Thank you, Anak, for your uh, for the information that you uh, shared. Of course, di ba, there, uh, the ASF, okay, cause the economy or the, ano, the, yung kita ng, uh, ng hog industry or ng pig in uh, ng pig uh, industry to collapse sabi nga ni Sato di ba nagcollapse siya okay and then as a result okay anong ginawa ng uh, government natin syempre there is no choice but to what import from the foreign uh, sources because we all know that di ba nung grade 9 kayo we you uh, study about economics Okay, when uh, the commodity okay uh, supply ay bumaba, what will happen? The price will ano tataas, di ba? That is a ano a, a ano tawag doon? Rule of demand and supply. Parang naalala ko siya bigla ngayon. So, sana naalala niyo rin siya para naalala natin sila lahat. All right. So, that is very good. Okay. So, ang naging uh Uh, choice ng ating government that time is to ano na lang to accept imports okay from other countries okay now how does the or how did the government uh, the department of agriculture and your local government there okay in Muntalban okay uh give a solution to that problem so what are the actions made to address ASF in Rodriguez Rizal So of course sabi nga uh, meat yung uh, pork kasi a uh, very ano yan eh or yung meat very ano yan eh large yung portion niya when it comes to our economy so kailangan talaga natin siya bigyan ng solusyon so uh, the veterinarians and technical persons from the DA region for a Bureau of Animal Industry okay in LGU of Rodriguez uh, Rizal technically cleared the town free from ASF okay ito yung mga ginawa nila of course vaccination okay and then uh They also gave proper training, okay, at nagbigay sila ng mga seminars sa mga ano sa mga farmers para alam nila yung mga maling nagawa nila, okay, at para hindi na siya mauulit in the future, okay. So that is the that uh, that was the uh, the action. Those were the actions na ginawa ng DA and then the LGU. So. According to uh, to the chief of DA, sabi niya kung ang mga nag-aalaga ng baboy ay nakikipagtulungan sa kanilang lokal na pamahalaan at sinasaguni agad sa mga veterinaryo at kinaukulan ang nakikitang problema ay madaling masusolusyonan ng ASF at iba pang mga sakit ng alagaing hayop. So tama naman yun, di ba guys? So uh, as a uh, racer or ikaw yung nag-aalaga, it is your responsibility. Okay? Naalagaan yung mga... Uh, yung mga babo o yung mga meat o yung mga meat sorry yung mga inalagaan mong livestock or poultry okay kasi kapag nagkasakit yan ikaw din maapektuhan right bababa yung kita mo or else magsasara pa yung negosyo na nangyari naman talaga there are hog racers na uh, wala silang nagawa but to uh, isasara na lang yung kanilang uh, business okay So, but guys, ito naman yung maganda. On February, 20, uh, February 24, 2020, the Department of Agriculture Secretary William D. Dar, before hundreds of hog raiser farmers and their families and local officials in Barangay Makabud, Rodriguez Rizal, pumunta doon si DA uh, Chief 
And then, he declared that the town or the municipal of Rodriguez Rizal is now free. Okay? Nung ano pa yun, anong February 2020 pa yun, na free na tayo or free na kayo sa ASF. Okay, so ground ASF ground zero na ang Rodriguez Rizal. 'Di ba nakakatuwa naman na it is very safe na for us to eat meat, okay, from the uh, pork, okay, the uh, the pork na nanggagaling diyan sa ating mga local racers or producers. So, syempre, what ano pa yung mga ginawa ng government para ma ma-ease naman kahit papano yung mga nawalan ng trabaho, yung nawalan ng kita. So, these are some na nakita ko na ginawa, okay, yung actions na ginawa ng DA and then the LGU para ma-help naman yung ating mga kababayan dyan. So, 35 million as indemnity to 700 hog racers at 5,000 per cook pig. So, nagbigay din sila ng 21.5 million to ah, 25, 21.5 million to 1,000 of result rice farmers. 15,000 each under the DAACPC Survival and Recovery Assistance. Okay, para naman, ano, parang, ano, uh, di, uh, di ba, hindi ka makapag, ano, ng race ng hog, ng pig, dahil sa ESF. Okay, dito naman tayo muna sa palay. Ito muna yung ano yung natin. Okay? 40.6 million worth of other interventions and projects. This is composed of 105 cattle, 305 goats, 30,000 native chickens, 3,100 uh, broilers, including feeds and bio biologics, and 1,005 of quills with 15 unit of cages. So, syempre, We cannot stop naman the living, di ba? Kasi may ganitong ano, scenario or phenomenon, di ba? Dapat dire-diretso lang. So, thankful din tayo sa ating LGU, thankful din tayo sa Department of uh, uh, Agriculture kasi at least binigyan nila ng pagkakataon makabawi or makabangon yung ating mga uh, farmers o yung mga mga hog racers natin dyan sa Rodriguez Rizal. Okay, that's why nagkaroon din, okay, or ba't nabuo yung tinatawag nating ito, ito yung rabbit farming, okay, it is to ease then the, ano, the, inintroduce yung rabbit farming, kasi nga, di ba, that time nagkaroon ng ESF, hindi makakain ng baboy, so the, ano, the local government, uh, think of the, ano, alternative, okay, na pwede nating i-consume, that's why nag-come up sila dyan sa rabbit farming na yan, right, so I guess, ano na tayo niyan? So, let's move on. Different kinds of meats and its sources. Bilisan lang natin to. Alright. So, different kinds of meats and its sources. So, kanina pa natin nakikita si pig or hog, si cow at si goat. Sabi kanina ni Ma'am Trish, these three are the most ano, ano, uh, pinaka-kinoconsume natin mga Filipinos. Okay. What do you think is the name for the meat of pig and hog? Can I hear from Hamero? What do you think, anak? Nakajumbled yung letter, ayusin mo lang. Amero, what do you think is the answer? Pork po, ma'am. Ayan. So, we all know that. We are all familiar that we we call the meat of pig or hog pork. Yan yung madalas nating kinakain. How about the meat of the cow? Si... Uh, uh, si... Sino to? Si... Soliman. Ano ba si Soliman? Nakapasok ba si Suleiman? Beef po. Ayan. Very good, anak. So, as you tell, very good. We call the meat of the cow beef. Okay? Alam na alam din natin yan. And how about the goat? Yan, dinidilaan pa kayo ng goat. Ano ang tawag sa meat ng goat? What do you call the meat of the goat? Anyone? you have any idea about this one? Natakal na ba? Nadaanan before? Ano kaya? Meron siyang C... At N. Ano kaya ito? Okay, PB. Shevon po. Ayan. So, medyo social siya, no? Shevon. So, Ma'am Trishan po ba nakakabili ng mga goat? Okay. Uh, uh, sakay lang kayo ng bus. Sakay kayo ng bus. Pero uwi din kayo, ah. Pero wag kayo kasi bata pa kayo. Bawal kayo lumabas. Okay, dito sa Litex. If you're familiar with Litex, ang dami niya nagbibenta ng mga ano, meat ng goat. Okay. Kambeng. So, ang tawag doon is Shibon. Pag bibili kayo, kuya, pabili naman pa ako 1 kilo ng Shibon. Diba? Ganun siya kasosyal. Shibon is the term for the meat of the goat. Okay. Next. Okay. How about Carabao? Ma'am, please, kinakain ng Carabao? Yes. Noon pa man, from the history, kinakain na talaga ang Carabao. So, what do you think is the name for the meat of Carabao? Si Moreno, nagtask kanina. Baka, 
Yes, dear. Karabi po. Ayan. We call that the meat of the carabao. Kara beef. Di naman nalalayo sa carabao. Di ba? Kara pa din siya. Again, what are the four main composition of meat? Anyone who can enumerate again the four composition of meat? Sino makakapag-enumerate again kay Ma'am Trish? Kasama ang percent percent. Okay, gano'ng karami? Anyone who wants to volunteer or tatawag na lang si Ma'am Trish? Andiyan pa si Maureen, Gabriel? Ah, si Argeline, nagtasa ng kamay. Yes, Argeline. Ano po, ma'am? 75% water, 5% fat, 20% protein, 2.3% carbohydrates. Ayan. Very good, Argeline. So, nakinig talaga si Argeline. Magdaling. Okay, again, the main composition of meat is 70% water, 20% protein, 5% fat, and 2.3% of carbohydrates. Now, Okay, let us proceed to our short activity lang guys. So short activity lang tayo before we ano uh we finish this ano today. So using Google Slide and Messenger chat box, 'di ba? You have your groupings na sa Messenger. So doon kayo mag-uusap-usap. Okay? So uh collaborate with your team to answer the following question assigned to your group. Sa Google Slide I assigned already a uh, group doon ay yung questions ng group ninyo, sasagutin nyo siya sa Google Slide. Ang magsasagot na lang sa Google Slide, siguro, ay si leader na lang. Okay, siya na lang yung mag-access ng Google Slide. But then the collaboration will happen on your um, messenger. Babantayan ko yung messenger ninyo. That's why I ask you to include me in your account. Okay? So I will give you guys 10 minutes to do the activity And then, choose one representative from your group later to explain it. And I will give two minutes each group to explain their work. Okay, so for the rubrics of this activity, of course, number one, we have clarity. Okay, gano ka linaw yung mga binibigay ninyong information. Relevance, of course, if your answers uh, is relevant ba sa pinag-aralan natin today or dun sa tanong. And then, of course, teamwork. Okay, Tem teamwork is very important. So, that will be total of 30 points. So, sige. Alright. Leader, you can now access the Google slide so you can see your questions. Tignan natin ang lagay ng panahon sa ating Google slide. Medyo wala pa pong nag share. Ayan. Someone is writing na. Typing na here. Right, guys, it's already time. It's already 5.25. Okay, so please stop typing na po. Kung mahindi tayo na type, okay, uh, just ano, do it with ano lang, sa explanation. Okay, for the group 3, this is uh, their question. Did your family still choose local meat product despite the recent ASF? I just want to hear your ano, thoughts lang about this one. Bibili pa rin ba sa mga ano, local market, sa mga butchers, sa palengke, after the ESF? Okay. Take it away, group 3. Uh, hello po. Uh, for group 3, did your family still choose local meat product despite the recent ASF or African swine fever? Yes. Even if our country having an ASF, many families are our families or my family still buying local meat. Because it is a tradition on us to have cooked meat on the table, such as sinigang na pork, adobo na pork, etc. Et <laughs> And there's also, if the family did not experience an effect from ASF, they will still continue on buying, even the risk size. Hi. In addition, uh, I think the main reason why they still choose local meat than uh, international meat, I guess, it is more cheaper than the other meat product because it is local. And and the uh, percentage in our group who are buying local meat is three over five. The because the reason of the remaining two, they still they still have doubts and they they are still not convinced to buy meat local meat product because the the recent ASF because it can uh, it can be dangerous on us on our health. Thank you.
Right. Thank you all for ano for sharing your thoughts and being the representative of your group. So sabi nga ni Al, 'di ba? Masarap ang sinigang na pork, adobo na pork, <laughs> etc. So that is a uh, we respect your decision of course. Okay, kung hindi pa talaga uh, may doubt pa din, okay, sa pagbili ng mga local meat, that is ano lang, that is okay kasi it's our choice naman. But then again, sabi ko nga kanina, it is free na, yes, a free na ang ating lugar. And then uh Of course, uh, we need to support talaga our local meat, okay? Para ma-boost yung ating economy. Alright, thank you guys for sharing your thoughts and answers. Okay, let's, so let's do this one. So, you are a sangguniang kabataan representative of your barangay in Rodriguez Rizal. Ano lang, assuming lang, assume lang tayo that we are representative of SK. The recent outbreak of ASF greatly affect, uh, affect or affected the economy as well as the daily lives of our kabarangay. Tama? Oh, so, as an SK uh, representative, okay, representative of the youth, what are the actions and program you could suggest to your local government to prevent this scenario from happening again? So, paano nyo ipapakita? For example, nag-isip kayo ng program, seminar and training. So, paano nyo siya ipapakita? So, your work should be uh, done through a poster. Okay, you can make your poster sa paint, sa Canva, or other picture editor na alam ninyo kung saan kayo komportable. Sa my day, pwede din. Sa story sa Facebook, pwede din yon Kung saan kayo komportable gumawa. Okay? So, pass your poster in the designated classwork in Google Classroom. The due date is next Monday. Okay? Medyo matagal-tagal pa siya. Okay? Uh, yung gagawin. So, Uh, make a relevant research. Ano ba yung pwede kong magawa? Ano ba yung pwede kong ma-suggest sa aming local government para itong mga scenario like this, this is this is ng animal like this, the ASF ay maiwasan na. Hindi na mangyari ulit para hindi na maapektuhan ang economy ng aking local government. Okay? So you will think of that and then uh, be creative of course in doing your uh, poster. Okay? Any question about this one guys? About our task here. Okay, ah, this is your task. Ah. You are a Sanggunyang Kabataan representative your barangay in Rodriguez Rizal. Okay, think of an action. Okay, or program that you could suggest. Okay, to your local government to prevent the scenario from happening again. Okay, do this through, uh, uh, your output should be uh, poster type. Okay, papakita ako mamay na example sa GC. Magse-send ako na example sa GC. Okay? So, oh, the rubrics will be sent then later on sa ating GC. Okay? So, medyo matagal na tayo. So, tatapusin na natin itong uh, ating discussion with this. Tandaan natin, meats are great sources of protein. Okay? They are also provide lots of other nutrients to our body. Okay, like iodine, iron, zinc, vitamins, especially B12, and essential fatty acids. Yan yung very essential, okay, nutrients na nakukuha talaga natin sa meat. So, it's, uh, it is very important uh, to include meat, okay, e uh, every week as part of our balanced diet. Sabi nga ni Ma'am Trish, we cannot eat carbs alone, fats alone, or uh, vitamins and uh, minerals alone, or yon yung water hindi naman pwede kailangan balanced diet so meat is a good uh, source of protein alam natin yan if we want our body to grow to build our muscle let us eat meat okay at pagkain ng meat ay nakakatulong din sa ating economy tandaan natin all right so do you have any question clarification something you want to add guys before we end ayan so nakita ko naman that you are all satisfied okay sa ating Uh, lesson today. I hope you learned something uh, na very important na madadala natin sa ating paglaki. Sa so, paglaki agad. Ayan. So, may see the smiles of everyone. Everybody. Ayan. Yung mga napakagandang smiles. No? So, ayan. So, for the quiz, number one, the, uh, okay, the Google form, okay, will be sent sa ating GC. Abang-abang na lang kayo. Okay, later on, I will send that. And you are, ano lang, That quiz is good for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I will close the link. So, please answer immediately. Alright, so kung wala na tayong tanong, we don't have any clarification. Thank you guys for your uh, uh, cooperation this afternoon sa ating lesson. And I uh, hope you learned something relevant, okay, useful sa ating buhay. 
And that will be all. See you next week, Copernicus. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, ma'am. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Po. Thank you.